Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to the release of Cryofall, a game that's been out for about a year but is now new in its, uh, well, early access to full release version. This game looks a lot like, uh, I would say, maybe RimWorld, but also a lot of different games like Don't Starve Together and also uh, The Escapists and other games that we've been seeing. They're survivalists, rather. So welcome back to the channel. Good to see you here. Thanks to the devs for sending out a key. And I have a ton of keys to give away to you. So if you go ahead and follow me on Twitter or jump on our Discord, I'll go ahead and drop a bunch of keys in those um, areas. And we'll probably be live streaming today too, so you can come and join in on all the fun. Come say hi and win some free keys too, so you can play along with us. This game, entirely online by the way, where you play with other players, PvP or PvE, uh, and a mix of both is pretty cool actually. There's uh, tons of hostile environments and animals and such to fight against. Right now I've kind of created a character similar to the guy on the right side. There's four different uh, origin stories to choose from, which gives you different types of perks or whatnot. And I think we'll just start with the Galactic Republic, first one on the list. And let's see what it is. I've just joined a random server just to kind of get uh, the feel of things. And <laughs> boy, do I look like a weird version of uh, Bruce Willis when he had hair. What the hell? All right. Uh, all right. Well, it looks like it's starting us easy with things in the upper right corner. Gather twigs and sticks and whatnot. How do we uh, pick that up? Well, we got to like stand over it in a weird way. Wow, what the hell was that? Sound like a chicken or something broke loose. Oh, there it is. There's the chicken right up there. All right, so you can see what I was saying about, like, RimWorld. Maybe it feels a little bit like Prison Architect and stuff, too. Uh, and also, like what I mentioned, Don't Starve to Get... I don't know. I'm getting a lot of vibes from this game. There's other players here, too. Looks like there's a world event. we got to gather a bunch of stuff. Could this be food? Looks like we're gathering a little bit of everything. So we can build a base. So it is a crafting, base-building survival simulator. And, uh, hmm. Let's see. How much is this game available for? $20 as well. Not bad. Typical price for a game I would expect to like this with online servers. Collect some stone and fibers. Oh, I've been grabbing like sticks and st I mean uh, giant logs. Now we'll probably need that for a fire eventually. So what does fiber look like? Let's see. Oh, there's a mushroom over here. So I'm assuming fiber looks like the giant bench. The giant. Uh... Wait, is this a fiber? Oh, maybe it is. Uh, collect fibers, 0 out of 10. Nope, okay. That was like a large, flat-looking thing. It, maybe it's down there. Oh, I think we should grab everything wood-wise. Ah, oh, there we go. That's a plant fiber, and it counts for 5. Perfect. All right, 2 out of the 3 done. Now we just need to find some stones. Oh, it looks like it gives us a few per. That's kind of cool. All right. So we don't have to necessarily find 10. Nice. All right, so gather resources is done. Now what do we do? Looks like we can check our equipment and our character. So we can add armor. There's all sorts of different things you can do in this game too. Like, for example, changing your... You can, like, go into... I forget what the word is, but it's basically like Cyberpunk's level of, like, b uh, bio modification or whatever where you can get, like, uh, enhanced eyes or, like, faster legs or something like that and really almost make yourself robotic. And then, of course, have your typical armor with lots of weapons. Also, kind of reminds me of Project Zomboid, how uh, some of the things when you build a base looks. It almost looks like a house in that game for whatever reason. I don't know. I just get a lot of vibes from that. Okay, so what can I do here? It says gather resources ready. So competition, comp oh, completion reward, 10 LP. Okay. All right, let's claim that then. We need to craft a rope and a stone axe. Okay. So how do we do that exactly? Uh, let's see. Well, there's got to be a menu up here for it. There we go. Crafting of things like splints, simple toolbox, lots of other uh, items for later, maybe. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and craft a stone axe. Oh, we need to make a rope first. Okay. Then a stone axe. There we go. Yep. Oh, just like in order there. Perfect. All right, let's claim another thingy. Perfect. Chop down a tree. Zero out of three. Well, this is a nice start. At least uh, the spawn's not been camped by a bunch of people to just immediately kill me. That'll probably come in a second or two. Oh, well, it's going to take a while. World event. Meteorites have fallen in the highlighted map area. Rush to mine some rare minerals. Ah. So that's going to definitely encourage some PvP fighting if that's what you're into. Okay, and one more to go. 
wonder if the different types of trees give different types of wood or sizes, for example. Like, for example, does this tree give more? This kind of looks like a, almost like a birch tree. Or like a, maybe a willow tree. Alright, job done. Let's claim. Boom. Alright, now a pickaxe and a toolbox. Okay. This game's keeping us on track. It's nice. The so toolbox requires more stone and rope. And what's the other thing? A stone pickaxe, which is probably the same. Yep, alright, so more stone and more fibers. Cool. Well, I like how the characters r run around like this. I, I like this. prefer this to, like, uh, Prison Architect, where everyone's just kind of like a floating head or a blob. With, like, arms and stuff, like Rayman style. Not that it's bad or anything. I just like this. That's cool. Yeah, Alright. Boop, 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 boop. Simple toolbox. It's going to be our next thing. I think we should probably get more fiber because it looks like rope's going to be something that we always need. Luckily, this game is not too much of a pain for some of the basic crafting materials. Oh, berries. Looks like our health and stamina and all that are not going down yet. Maybe when we get a little more advanced. What is this? A water bulb fruit. Oh, I love the name of that. That's cool. And also some violet berries. Never consumed. Oh, we have to guess. So it's just like in Green Hell where you can eat whatever you want. Just some things will kill you all the way to death. Yes, you could possibly die to death in this game. Ooh, nature, you scary. Well, let's craft two of those. So there's our simple toolbox. And our stone pickaxe requires some more stone. So we got to go find more of that. Right, so if we play multiplayer, I, I've seen ads of this game where they kind of went, um, what was the name of that game, like, uh, oh boy, like, Division style, where it was a bunch of characters kind of communicating in a professional manner. I've always actually kind of wanted that. People, like, cringed and thought that was so cheesy. I think it's kind of cool when people actually roleplay like that in a really cool way. That's what makes, like, GTA RP really fun. Alright, looks like we've angered a little, it's a little cow. It almost looks like a boar. Wow. <laughs> ooh, what is this? Oh, there's a mine down here. Oh. oh it's like a... Uh-oh. Ooh, that looks scary. Hell no. Ooh, ooh. Hell no to that. Okay, yeah, we're staring away from that stuff. That must be copper ore there. Let's go away from everything that tries to kill us to death. And we'll try to build, like, maybe up here if we build a base. Okay, what is this, by the way? Oh, these are all sorts of, like, it's steam achievements, maybe? Oh, this is all the fish you can get, all the food that you can make or find. Creatures that you can encounter. Oh, hell no. A lot of that looks scary. Oh, man. Oh, no. This is like... Oh, here we go. Accept a wood pile. Thank you. Uh, stone pickaxe. A lot of this reminds me of, uh, like, StarCraft in a way. A lot of those creatures. The Zerglings. Okay, let's go with the crafting of a stone pickaxe. And we're done. Cool. Let's claim our rewards. Boom, boom. Mine any mineral. All right, well, now we got that pickaxe, so we can go do that. Throw that in the old inventory. So what's the toolbox for? Is that for repairing? I didn't really read. I assume it's probably for building or repairing. Obviously, it's a tool in a box. A toolbox. Wow. Okay, here's our minerals. Well, this will give us a lot of rocks, too. That's nice. So was this copper? Oh, it's getting uh, to be nighttime soon. Yep, iron ore. Okay, cool. All right, visit the Rocky Mountains. Mine any mineral. Mine stone. Zero out of three. Create a campfire. Okay, well. We need to mine these big old boulders now. I don't know where the Rocky Mountains would be. Is there a map? Oh, cool. Is this where other players have made... Houses? No, these are trading stations. Oh, wow. Well, there's the world event there. Visit Rocky Mountains. I have no idea where to... Is that an advertisement within the game? Colorado wants us to swing out. Drop on by. Oh, you can actually hit that plant. Cool. Oh, snake. Okay, we gotta find more boulders and more minerals. We could probably do that when we go down, but I just don't want to die to death. What is this here? Warmth? Hmm. Well, let's keep making our way east then, and we'll keep looking out for stuff.
Okay, what is this down here? What the hell is this? Ooh. Oh, is this a training station? What is this? What's oh, an offline player? Oh, this is cool. I'm not gonna... He's offline, so... Oh, it's a couple of people playing together. Wow, look at the base they've constructed. Damn. This reminds me of Factorio, how some of the buildings in that looks. It's a different art style, but I really like how things look in Factorio, and this is really cool, too. Oh, wow, they got a work light here? And an oil refinery going? Large trading station, they'll trade with people? That's cool. Now, this is PvE, so if this were PvP, they would probably have defenses up and, you know, obviously I'd be being shot to death. Wow. All these boxes can actually open this stuff? Ah, oh, yeah, forbidden. Okay, so that's why they're not really caring too much about defenses. That's cool, though. Look at all these workbenches and stuff. I love that. I'm so glad... Okay, let me start the episode here, okay? For anybody who wasn't paying attention, just skip to this point. Okay, I want everyone to comment down below in the comment section. Wow, Raptor, your base is amazing. I can't believe you made so much progress. What a genius player, that type of thing. Or oh, we're going to start the episode here. And we're... All right, ready? All right, guys. Well, I uh, skipped ahead a little bit in the episode. And wow, have we made some crazy advancements now. Of course, we have found our friends. And they helped us out to build the base. And I can't believe they elected me as king of everything, of the world. It's been really cool to... Uh, remember that battle we had with the behemoth earlier? That was amazing. That was so super cool. Wow, this has been amazing to build. Jeez. Oh, did you did you miss any of this, by the way? Any of the uh, stuff that... Well, you better skip back. You better go back to the beginning where we discovered all this stuff. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, it looks like there certainly is a hell of a lot of stuff to build. I love how the tables look differently, too. So we can get into things like medical laboratories and basic crafting, chemical laboratories, basic workbenches. That's really cool. I like how they've done that. And I love the favorite thing is the work lights because so many games you can never see and it always has to come down to fire. So I'm glad that this game has like lighting and also farming too. I've gotten distracted from my own quest, but I like what these guys are up to and that they found uh, each other to build these uh, cool little things. Hopefully they're like in a discord or something together. Oh, and you can land claim too. So no one else can build around you. So they've all also constructed a farm out here. Okay. Well, I will build around here. Hmm. I want to kind of build nearby, but I don't want to bother them. Everything could be deadly. Yeah, snakes everywhere. Okay, what does this do? Oh, just regular dirt pile? Okay. Alright, well, let's see what we can find. So we got to find boulders, and we got to find... Oh, there's some minerals there, too. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Are these the Rocky Mountains? Or is it just any elevated position? Oh, don't worry, chicken. I'm not going to bother you. All right, this is a good spot here. As long as we don't get near that guy. Okay, let's start mining. Oh, and this is the Rocky Mountains. Cool. I somehow made it to where I needed to go to. So obviously an area that spawns a lot more ore and stone. But you could probably find it anywhere. Cool. We'll come back here later. No, well, we need to mine actual boulders. I feel like we could find that anywhere. Is this a boulder? Could be limestone or something that looks different than the traditional gray. Ah, uh, yep, there's some more minerals in there. Let's see, do we have a carry capacity? Looks like we have an inventory capacity, but not a weight capacity, which is cool. Alright, let's get this last goal complete. I like how the enemies are around, but they're not super, super plentiful. If you've ever played subsistence before, you know it's like bear, 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 cougar, bear, 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 cougar, wolf, wolf, wolf. It's like, wow. This gives you a little bit of breathing room. Okay, now we can build a campfire. Well, I like the idea of building around here. Some things might require a lot of metals. I'm sure all that respawns, too, ore-wise, so... 
Well, let's go down here and build by the coast. This will be cool. Okay, let's build a campfire. So how do we go about that now? Ah, there we are. Oh, we have plenty of everything. Important in order to build or repair anything, you need to have a toolbox. Equip the toolbox in your hotbar to be able to build. Okay. So that's what that's for. Now, how does this work? Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. So equip a toolbox and then you can get equip something to build. Cool. Let's build here. You're standing on what? Oh, you're standing on the cell. Okay. All right. So let's throw some fire in there. And let's just get it lit up if we can. Also create charcoal for us. Oh, do we have to burn that first and then maybe we can... Is there a way I can split that recipe? Seems to be pretty easy to find both. Oh, there we go. I just wanted some light. All right, cool. Let's cut down some trees. Oh, and let's claim our uh, rewards, too. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, craft and use a torch. We've already been given one. And cook food. Okay, so now we got to go find a Wendy's. All right. Um... So we want to craft a torch now. So I guess we have a backup now. Cool. Cook and eat food. All right. I wonder if we can cook one of these things. They're literally water bulbs. I hope they can cook, huh? All right. Let's add a water bulb. Maybe it'll be like a roasted one. Roasted mushroom, maybe? Current recipe is charcoal. Let's see what happens next. Ah, oh, there we go. Roasted mushroom will be next. Good. Alright, so charcoal might burn longer or give us fuel for other furnaces. In the meantime, let's get some uh, chop chop on some wood. Right, I like this so far, and I really like the fact that it also kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley in a way. With the, f with the farming. With the different things that you can do... And I'm really going to want to do some PvE with this, so now I'm very excited. I'm recording this the night before, so I hope to see Alex and Thurston and Booster and anyone else kind of work together to maybe build like a village or something like that. We can join another server and maybe do some PvE so we can get the hang of things before doing PvP, which will be a little difficult uh, from the start, you know, to learn. Oh, can we actually knock that down and pick up our stuff? Take all. Oh, that's cool. Then we can just build it wherever we want. Oh, so campfires are really mobile. That's cool. You can be really mobile with those. Okay, so let's uh, put our fire back down. So we did cook a food, right? Or maybe it never finished. Oh, there it is. Cook any food. We'll I have to eat it now. Well, that should count as cooked, right? Let's see. Um, never consumed. Click on this item while hold... Oh, I see. Put in the hot bar. There we go. Well, apparently, uh, we cooked it, but it didn't count. Probably just because the fire was burned out. Let's try charcoal again. Maybe some berries. Input items don't match any recipe. Okay. We gotta go find some more food. Oh, we have some salt here. Nice. All right, well, that didn't count as cooking. Maybe we can use a shell? No. Oh, that looks deadly down there. Maybe we can get the chicken. We have some random stones here. Ooh, plus 22, damn. Okay, well, I need to just find another mushroom. Actually, maybe we could kill this pig. I don't know if we can actually... Oh, he's actually hitting me? Wow, he's got a huge, like, attack box. The hitbox is, like, here, if he gets close to me. Okay, we're going to definitely need to craft, like, a sword or an 
Probably like a bow and arrow. You really want to come up here, pig? Because that big old bad wolf is waiting for you. Okay, I need to find some more mushrooms or something. I think we found more than one. Okay, looks like he gave up the pursuit. I don't see more. I don't see any more at the moment. And there are two types right there, actually. I wonder if we can build, like, a cave or some sort of a greenhouse to uh, make these in the future, like make mushrooms. It might be a good food source for the future. I also think resting will probably heal us too, so the damage we took isn't too much of a big deal. Now, there's our fire. Nice and wholesome down by the old beach. So really, one swing knocks that whole thing down, huh? Gotta remember to not left click. Must right click. Okay, one more and we're good. All right, let's place that down again. Right click this time. Fuel, mushroom. Let's try the penny bun. Roasted mushroom, apply recipe. Okay, so now we are, we are cooking food. I think we should probably continue to get wood for fires and more burning. Pretty much everything is going to need to be burned in the future. Charcoal might actually work for, like, a smelter. So when we go to make that iron ore, we can probably smelt it. And uh, make clay, too. Some things might have to burn at a long, long, high temperature. There we go. They want us to pull it out of the crafting menu. Okay, now let's put this out. Cool. Alright, food's done. Gather water bulb fruit. Okay. Well, we just grabbed one of those from there. It'll be more in the south. Let's go check. A lot of great details to the beach, too, with all these, like, little pebbles and stuff lined up. Like, nothing's really boring. It looks good. Like, there's a lot of details on the beach. Seashells, rocks, stones and such sitting here. It's not just a boring, plain, tan beach like that. It's kind of nice. Ooh, good thing we took the beach. There's a hell of a lot of creatures just waiting there. I don't know what that 42% is, though. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's a highway here? What? Oh. Oh, there's a road. We got wood and stuff. A garbage pile. Oh, no. Now this has become top-down rust. Oh, boy. I didn't know there was, like, a... Oh, wow, this is much more interesting than I thought. Like, I thought it was just going to be a forest with natural stuff all built by players, but it looks like there's a pre-existing world here. Uh, Post-apocalyptic kind of thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, I shouldn't have swung at those bulbs. I'm sorry. Got to right-click. Okay. Gotta find those water bulbs, but why? We could build a couple of bases along here in order to cook and... Nope. Let's get another garbage pile. Good materials in there. Wow, lots of wood and stuff, too. I wonder if the uh, map controllers or whoever made the server can control what loot types there are and how much money you'll get for doing them. Lower right corner you can see our food and water, so that water bulb plant must be for getting water. I think that might be the only way to drink in the game. Unless we find out something for purification. Dude, this is cool. Wait, there's another base here. I just noticed. Oh, wow. Oh, he's offline too. Puff, puff. Past the grass. Wow. He's building a cool base, though. Let's go check on him. 
Oh, is that gold ore? Okay. Ah, more tables. Oh, he's just getting started, too. Oh, cool. So when you claim the land, you get like a little radio receiver. Primitive refrigerator. So you might pack that with ice. Farming workbench. Dude, these really look nice. I love the detail on this. Damn, this is really nice. I like that. Weapon workbench there. All different types of iron crates. Okay, so these must be larger sizes. And he's got a little campfire there, too. Cool. They're way through the door. I wonder if there's a way you can give permissions to people to enter your home. Maybe if you're in the same, like, group or something, or a uh, tribe or clan or whatever. Okay, we need to find a water ball plant. Oh boy, what is this? Alright, VLSD has a gun. That's cool. Solid snake almost. He's got a well here too. What is this? Advanced lithium salt extractor. Jeez, advanced oil pump and refinery. I wonder if you can get oil from anywhere if you've got to find deposits. Ah, there we are, finally. Wow, look at how far we had to go just to find water. All I have to do is right click. There we go. Okay, now we can use it. Nope. Click on this item while holding the Alt key. Oh, there we go. I see. Wow, you don't get much water for that at all. Make a bedroll. I want to make a pizza roll emote in the comments section from all of our beloved members. Bedroll is located in the other category in the construction menu. Oh, we're going to need more twigs. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Ooh, what is that? Diamond? Oh, it's a... <laughs> yes, I guess a one man's... Junk is another man's treasure. Oh, we found a uh, book. Oh, plastic. Never mind. I thought it was like a series of catalogs. Okay. Cool. So it seems like we've gone a long way from where I wanted to make my base, but it doesn't matter. We're carrying all of our stuff with us, I suppose. This weird shirt I have on, like... You like a Legend of Zelda shirt that's way too small. Looks like I just got off my shift at Hooters. Or I guess the male equivalent. Uh, we got off work at Danglers. There you go. Okay, let's build ourselves a bedroll. Ooh, lots of water here. Okay, we'll build that there. Alright, let's get sorted on our food and water. Can I just... Oh, yeah, you can hold alt and do it in this menu. Nice. And then we want to eat some... Go oh, coffee berries. Ooh. Oh. These could be toxin. Uh, poisonous. Nausea and toxins. Okay. So maybe eat them in a pinch. Some things I don't want to consume just yet, but let's just do what we're told. This bed belongs to you. Yes, it does. Learn the workbench in industry tech group and build a workbench. Ooh, we got to do a little bit of unlocking stuff now. Oh, yeah, we're getting our XP up. Neat. Cool. All right. Ooh, what, oh, are these clans? Oh, new factions. Evil, fun, love. But wait, these seem like they're made by devs or something. I don't see any dank Kush 420. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm expecting to see. Players must be able to make their own logos, but oh boy, the Bear Clan. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's cool. That's leaderboards throughout the gang. Ooh, I see. Oh, I can make my own logo. Oh, this is cool. So this is how we get people to uh, step into our house. Looks like it'll cost us 100 LP to do that. But basically, we can make like a community, like apartment building or shelter for everybody this way. That's going to be cool. So you can actually make your own emblem. That's nice. That's cool. Background. Oh, you can get all fancy with your designs. Neat. 
Oh, that's cool. All right. Okay, where were we? Uh, learn workbench, right? So, uh, technology menu. Oh wow! Industry, electricity, construction, chemistry, f weapons, farming, defense. Oh yeah, defense and offense too. We did see those walking robots earlier as well. Xenology, electricity. Man, look at that. So there's different levels to each thing too. That's cool. We want to go to though tier one tech group. So learn back in workbench in industry. That must be here, right? Workbench? Ah, oh, there we go. You want to research it? Yes. Cool. Now we can build it. But that means we need to get uh, all the materials needed. So. Under industry workbench. Ah, perfect. We found enough wood, too. Doesn't look like we can rotate it, though. Oh, I right-clicked this time, and now that time it didn't work. Oh, of course. Ah, we can only do it little by little. Neat. Okay, so right-click to remove some things, too. Boy, that's going to get tricky. I'm going to accidentally delete something for sure. Ah, now we can start making armor. A hat, a shirt, and... Oh, good. We can finally get out of these weird clothes. Seems like we, like, uh, robbed a, a rag stock or something. Oh, somebody built their house here. Oh, man. Are they online? It looks like their power's offline. Ooh, this chemical laboratory looks really cool. Oh, and they built, like, a little farm inside. That's neat. Not the same guys from before, no. Okay. Um. Oh, we have uh, other things to do, too. Sort inventory items. Sprint for 10 meters. Okay, how do we sprint? Uh, sort inventory items. Is there like an auto sort? Um. Let's see. To sort your inventory, simply open it and press the mouse scroll button or Z key while hovering over your inventory grid. Ah. Good. There we go. Oh, that's satisfying as hell. Woo! That's nice. All right, now to sprint. Let's do that next. Uh, to sprint, hold shift while moving. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do the cloth stuff now. So do we need to be near it to craft? How does this work? Right clicking, but I don't see anything we can make. Oh, now we can get into weapons making too. Stone knife and kill a creature and then loot it. So we can go kill some chickens, boys. Let's do that first. How do we make ourselves a knife? We need a rope. And for a rope, we're going to need some more fibers. Man, okay, you got to have somebody in your group on full time fiber. Jeez. There we go. So it looks like there's like a end game in this game of like nuclear power and like mechs and vehicles that you can fight other players with. So if somebody's built a sweet base with like a huge gun, uh, a huge uh, wall or whatnot, you can build a mech and like smash down the wall and take all their stuff. That's awesome. Seems to definitely be possible. And anything's possible through the power of friendship, I, I guess. Okay, kill any creatures. So we'll have to put that in our inventory. Uh... The knife. Okay, the torch is cool, but let's put the... There we go. Alright, so we gotta kill any creature. So we can go kill that chicken, but it'll probably run. Come here, you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice noise. Okay, cool. Oh, we got eggs from it. Uh, of course, when you kill an animal, you get its eggs. Okay, that's a claim. Uh, medical herbs. Use the green herb. Okay, 
That's not an endorsement. That's our objective. So use. Okay, nice. So we were a little damaged. A little damaged. And now we just need to make uh, cloth armor. So that's going to require a hell of a lot of cloth, I bet. So how do I make cloth armor, though? Uh, let's see. Running around, blah, blah, blah. Cro protection. There are three different damage types. Oh, we need to first unlock it, though. Under defense tier one. Okay, cool. So we learned that. Now we got to equip... Oh, do we get it for free, maybe? Or do we have to make those? So it looks like we're going to have to make it. And there it is now. So we need to make three thread. So let's just make a max because... yeah, We're going to be needing a lot more fiber anyway. So we may as well max it out for repairs and other stuff. Let's make a shirt. Make a hat. We can queue everything up. I don't know if we have to wait here or not. Probably. Good good idea just to stand here for a second or two. So, um... You guys watch these videos often, or... Where are you guys from? Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. I've been there. Okay, cool. Let's go to... Uh, let's see. Equip these. Now, how, though? Hmm. How exactly do we do this? Oh. The menu of uh, the guy disappeared a second ago. Well, there we go. That makes sense. Oh, there you go. Cool. So the more... Oh, great. Whoa, wait. Psychological protection, radiation protection, chemical, cold, heat. Oh, maybe we were hot. Oh, that's... Oh, I see. That flame is how much fire or fuel is left on the torch. Okay. Uh, where were we? Explosion, kinetic, and impact. Okay. Oh. Another goal complete. Build a permanent base. Uh, learn the land claim tier. Oh, we can actually claim our own land now. Okay, let's do that. So technology, construction probably. Yep. Clam, claim la clam land. And then build the thing and then relocate any structure. Oh, okay. So we could build like a walled area and then just move the stuff inside. Cool. Oh, I love how these things glow. That's neat. I like that, too. Okay, let's build the, cl the clam. Not the clam, but the clam. Okay, so under other? We need 55 wood planks turned into 45 more. Oh, wow. Well, if we're going to be building a base, let's turn all that into, into wood. Okay. And now we can claim our base. Oh, you can see what you can claim with each tier. Very nice. Well, let's put our thingy down here then. Yay! We've claimed it for Raptoria. Ah, and there's decay information too, so things will decay. So you'll need to constantly take care of it, just like in Rust. So you'll need to be on doing things fairly often which is fair I am aware of the decay system ah and I could transfer ownership and give other people access that's cool there's power within the grid so if you build a power plant in this area then it can things don't have to be wired together but it'll just automatically work so long as it's in the same area that's awesome let's relocate a structure We'll just move the bed from here to here, I guess. There we go. Until we're done building something. And now we can start learning basic construction. Tier 1. Build a wooden wall and a wooden door. Damn, I'm feeling addicted to this now. I like it. I like it indeed. Alright, that's going to be it for our time, though, for today. So tune into the live stream, which should have gone live sometime soon, or will be soon. Make sure you go ahead and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on the stream. Smash that like button. And I'll see you guys soon for more Cryofall. I like what I see so far. 
and I will see you soon. Thanks again, guys, for the support. Goodbye.